Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Dominions 5, Warriors of the Faith, by Illwinter Game Design. For those of you who don't know, Dominions is a fantasy turn-based strategy franchise that is based on real-world religion and mythology. You see, before everyone got together and decided that there was only one true god, money, all the different cultures and peoples of the world had their own gods and monsters and mythologies that they believed in, and this game allows you to create a god and lead one of these cultures into battle against all of the others. There can be only one. There truly is no other game like it. For example, you could be Odin leading Viking raiders and Valkyries into battle, or Zeus commanding hoplites and chariots with pegasi flying overhead. You could be a Dai Oni leading samurai and ninja into battle, or Quetzalcoatl watching as your chief priest spills the blood of a sacrificial victim down your altar, gaining you more power. You get the picture. It's a really unique game and it holds a special place in my heart because when I first started my YouTube channel in 2013, the first ever series that I did was based on the predecessor to this game, Dominions 4. Now to understand the game, it also has one unique concept where it is split into three different time eras, the early, middle, and late era. The way it works is that the earlier eras are more focused on magic, while the later eras are more focused on might and technology. So you start off kind of at the Bronze Age, and then you evolve into the uh, Iron Age, into the kind of medieval. So when Dominions 4 came out, the developers released a new nation that had never been seen before, known as Ur. And this nation was based on Sumerian myth, particularly the myth of Gilgamesh, where Gilgamesh, the hero, had a buddy named Enkidu, who is kind of a wild man of the wilderness. So the nation Ur, in Dominions 4, was peopled by these Enkidu, who were like humans, but they were larger, hairier, a little bit wilder and uncivilized, and they had little horns on their head. So we created a goddess for that nation during that series, known as Ursula, praise her. And Ursula was an Anunnaki of love and war, essentially a goddess of fertility and battle. She was as beautiful as she was fierce. And in that series, we led the Enkidu to victory. And I always said, when the developers released the middle era version of Ur, known as Uruk, which they said in the manual that they were going to do soon, I would bring Ursula back and we would do another series. However, patch after patch came out, year after year went by, and no Uruk. The developers released tons of other nations, but just not that one. So finally, I gave up. Fast forward to last summer, the summer of 2017, and I decided to retire from YouTube. Completely separate from anything having to do with Dominions, but that was the scenario. And then a couple months after that, I hear, hey, guess what, Marcus? Illwinter is going to release Dominions 5. And what else? They're going to have Uruk, finally. <laughs> So I was like, all right, I will come out of retirement to do a series and bring Ursula, praise her, back one more time. And that is what we are going to be doing here. We are going to be playing the Middle Era Nation of Uruk, and they, of course, will be led by the lovely Anunnaki of Love and War, Ursula. Now, I want this to be the best YouTube Dominions Let's Play out there, but in order to do that, I need your help. If you watch my series a lot, you know that I like to roleplay. I don't like to just min-max and play the game. I like to think it's real, and the characters are real, and they matter, and the places they're going and the things they do matter. So there are ways that the audience can get involved in this. One, of course, is that every commander in the game can be named. So I will have a link below where you can put a name in so a commander can be named after you. Now, disclaimer. It's first come, first serve. You can't choose the specific commander you get. You might get a research mage or a scout, or you might get a super combatant who can take on entire armies by themselves. It's completely up to chance. Another way you can get involved, and how people have done so in the past, is by submitting artwork of one kind or another. 
I really enjoy it when viewers submit kind of sketches or really anything that have to do with the series. I'll always put them up in the videos and show them off because I love it. And finally, if you watched my recent Age of Wonders 3 series, you know that I like to encourage my viewers to roleplay in the comments. In fact, I had one viewer once who mentioned that my comment section was more like a fanfic section than a true comment section. And what that essentially means is that viewers will, while watching the videos, write stories that take place kind of alongside what's going on on screen. And if they're good enough and they make sense based on the story, I will absolutely incorporate them into the story that I'm telling in the episodes. If you're still not quite sure what that is, just look at the comments of my Age of Wonders series or just keep an eye on the comments of this series and you'll see people who are doing it and I think it's really a lot of fun. So, I don't monetize my channel, never have, never will, but I want as many people as possible who would be interested in seeing this series and participating in it to find out about it as soon as they can. So you can really help me out by liking the videos, by commenting, and by spreading the word around. Uh, the shrapnel forums for Dominions 4 don't really exist in the same form anymore. The community has kind of dispersed. So if you're part of any type of Dominions forum or you're involved in Dominions on Steam or anything like that, just mention this series, put a link to it. I'd really appreciate that. So I hope you really enjoy what's going to be coming up with my presentation of Middle Age Uruk for Dominions 5 Warriors of the Faith. Once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. I would like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you go out and do great things. Have a good one.